What's up, you people? This is Nate here. It's Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. So yo, we're back today. Um, a little late, but you know, better better late than never. Always. You know, get Always. this review in for this uh, Meek Mill project, uh, wins and losses. Yes. Now shout out to the Dream Chasers. Uh, First and foremost, all the guy, all the Dream Chasers got mad at us last time because the last project DC Four was uh, very subpar in our opinion. Actually, uh, no, I thought we we both said it was okay. No, but it was I guess I guess it being okay wasn't good enough. Right, right. Yeah, so. Okay, as far as being on the Dream Chaser level of what they thought, you yeah. know, they come in and, and they was they was really honest about that one. So. I was a little nervous going into this one. I was too, man. You know? I didn't know what to expect, man. Meek, uh, Meek had a lot to prove, and I ain't gonna lie, those Meek and music tracks, they was ooh, yeah, yeah. I really didn't know what to expect coming into I, this album. I'm gonna tell you what got me. When we were talking about his interview he had on uh, Hot 97, Yeah. Um, I was like, wow, this dude really sounds like he grew up. That was the first time I got excited for the album. Me too. And mm -hmm. I was I was really, we were going back and forth, we were talking about it, but still in the back of my brain, I'm like, nah, I don't know. he had been calming down a lot on Instagram, haven't seen any silly stuff, coming off a breakup. I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, man. So yeah. when we uh, when I, when the project came out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to it. It was the first one I listened to, um, and I was I was I was surprised by it, bro. Like I really like as far as him, he was rapping again. Meek was actually rapping and taking it serious. Uh, he was back at MMG Meek, is what I call it. I he was that. back in the MMG pocket. Um, MMG had like a like a run as far as all the music kind of sounded the same. Like you, it was one of those things where you haven't heard their albums, but you heard them. <laughs> and with this project, I felt like he got back to that, which I think is a good thing for them. Um, good thing for Ross. Good thing for um, MMG to get back to it. Hopefully Wale can go back to that pocket and start rapping again. Mm. Um, but just as far as with Meek, man, he he definitely was trying to tell some stories on here. He definitely was trying to open up by some things, had a little subtle jabs at Drake. 1942 Flows, I think, was uh, if, 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 if Aliens came down and they asked what was his one of his one of his better songs i would point to that one he was okay. rapping on that one and uh it's funny how the clean version actually has a um a added verse on the end versus hmm. the the, the uh, explicit one didn't it was it was a shot at drake um so you know if, thought he was letting that go nah but it was it was tasteful though okay it was it was tasteful it wasn't yeah. really a, it wasn't really like he was basically just saying that he said what was true to him that he knew but he shouldn't have said it in that way he kind of went about it all wrong. So in a way, it's kind of like just owning up to your mistakes, kind of showing some growth. I feel that. Um, but yeah, man, it has some pretty, you know, just decent beats. I thought it was, it was nothing to what I'm going to say, like, you know, album of the year, top 10. I don't think it's going to be in my top 10 of the year. But I do think for Meek, he was a walking L for a long time. I uh, thought he did okay on the album, man. What'd you think? Man, with it, uh, first things first, man, Meek really might be the king of intros. Like, every <laughs> album, man, he really comes with it for the intro. He, he's, he knows how to set the tone of an album. Yeah. Uh, his energy, his pacing is always there, man. So I had to give him his props there. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Meek on this project, uh, giving us a little bit more of an inside look on his thoughts and feelings about how things have been going for him these last two years, uh, kind of giving us a bit more of his uh, perspective on life and uh, being a little bit more vulnerable on this album. I mean, with the title, like, Wins and Losses, you have to discuss, you know what I'm saying, the good and yeah. the bad on here. And I, I did think they did a really good job of uh, kind of going into that, even though he didn't go too deep. I, I maybe wish he maybe would have went a little bit uh, a little bit further into his own thoughts and feelings, but yeah. I get it, man. You're a gangster. You can't, can't, you know what I'm saying, can't go too far. Right, right. But uh, I did feel like he really did a great job choosing his features, man. I thought uh, Uzi sounded real good on there, yeah, man. Yeah, he did. I, I like the yeah. song you have with Chris Brown. Yeah. Uh, Rose did his thing on there. Yes. Tiana Taylor bodied oh, it. Oh, my gosh, she bodied that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she did a great job there, yeah. man. And I liked, I liked the future on here. Um mm -hmm. I, I, that hook from Quavo was awful. Yeah. I'm just gonna go the hook ahead from Quavo was awful, right and, the, and the track with uh, uh, Young Thug was bad. I didn't like mm, that. Yeah, that was it was yeah. all over the place, man. It was a little bit messy right there. But yeah. man, that that hook from Quavo, that was god awful. Listen, yeah. if I was a rapper and Quavo would have sent that back to me, man, I'd have <laughs> felt disrespected. Absolutely. Like I mean, I'm a grown man, dog. You talk about Blues Clues. <laughs> Uh, I want to yell. I got the mail. Uh, like, and, and it's coming off the Khaled features he had on there. Beloved, I'm a grown man. Right, right. You talking about Blues Clues, man? I ain't Steve, dog. I ain't yeah. Steve. I'm, I'm selling a, 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 a street album. Yeah, you know I can't, what I'm I can't have like, you know Blues Clues on. Yeah, you know, hey man, that was tough, man. Um, yeah. I felt like uh, one thing, the first handful of tracks on here were really good mm -hmm. and uh, they were really powerful, but uh, then the album started to get a little bit repetitive to me, man. I hear me kind of staying on the, the topics that we're kind of used to from him, yeah. uh, whereas at the beginning I felt like that was when he was kind of letting that shield down a little bit more. I do wish that he maybe did tell a little bit more stories uh, on this album or that maybe these songs would have had more of a, a clear defined topic on here uh -huh. sometimes when me gets to rapping he just is rapping about just stuff it, it just starts to sound like a run-on sentence after a while yeah um and 
the production on here really didn't lend itself to that. Mm. Meek has a very distinctive sound or production style that he likes or that I feel like he thinks that he sounds best over. But sometimes that production falls a little bit flat. And in, sp- in spots, it's actually very good because it allows you to kind of hear his words, hear his lyrics, and uh, really absorb that. Yeah. But uh, if the beat doesn't capture you and he's really not talking about much sometimes, you know, you kind of lose yourself out of the song. You know, you kind of find yourself... Uh, Kind of tuning out, man. Yeah. Um, and like you said, that that track with Young Thug, man, it was a mess. Was man. They didn't mesh well on there. And Meek, don't sing, don't no more sing. Yo, that's the part that got me. Every every track he sung on well, nineteen forty two flows, I fought through that one. <laughs> but every song he sung, when I'm like, I really hate this. I might not like this song because of this, but I fought through it. And he was, you know, was rapping. Yeah. But it was like this was one of a weird album to me because the tracks that I loved, I really loved like the track with Ty Dollar Sign, nineteen forty two flows, Black America with the Dream. Dream sounded yeah. pretty decent, and the one with Tiana Taylor and some other ones on there. But the ones I didn't really care for, I was like, man, I don't know if I really like it. So I almost want to condense the album down <laughs> and take those tracks off. I really like it's hit or miss with Young Thug, and I wonder why people even have him on features at times, like. um when Travis had him on there, he fit, you know, it, it sounded decent. Mm. And then it was like he'd be on, you know, something like this. And I'm just like, it doesn't sound good. I don't think a Meek Mill and a Young Thug sound good together. You know, maybe Meek can be featured on his album, but don't have him on yours, Meek. It just don't <laughs> fit. Um, but like I said, man, the tracks I really rock with, I rocked with. But the tracks that I was like, eh, on the, on the fence about, I was like, I could do without him. I found myself skipping him. Mm. But yeah, definitely, if he's going to sing the hook, don't sing the hook. <laughs> like, Meek, don't sing the hooks, man. Like, I just don't think... Is, is, is good for you to do it. Like, you had a great formula to track with Ty Dolla Sign, it's a hit, it's out of here. It's gonna go, but I, you know, if it, it stands. I mean, it being a summertime song, it has a summertime um, vibe to it, and Ty Dolla Sign is, is like, he's, he's hitting home runs at this point. Um, but, you know, as far as with the ones where you're singing the hooks, man, just stay off them, man. Hey, man, I feel you there, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, with it, uh, I, again, to kind of touch on that, I did feel like uh, he started off the album very strong and he closed out very strong. I mean, yeah. I felt like uh, the, that last track was was great. Young Black America, I really didn't expect him to be able to do Mama Love Me like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, when I first heard that beat, I'm like, oh, man. Uh-huh. And then once I got to the end of the song, I'm like, okay, he did it justice. He did, he did, he did it justice. Uh, Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, 1942 Flows was dope, man. Yeah. Uh, Heavy Heart, I felt like. Really Heavy Heart was man. dope, yeah. Uh, Connect the Dots, I really enjoyed, man. I like the energy there. So mm-hmm. with it, he definitely did open up. Oh, it was only two tracks that I absolutely hated. And yeah. I already said it. I mean, it's We Ball and it's it's a uh, Ball Player. Yeah. Those, those, <laughs> like, those two yeah, I hated, I too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them could have left off. But otherwise, man, I thought it was a pretty solid project. Yeah. Um, I, I rated this out of 80. Okay. Yeah. I gave it 82. Okay. Um, and one thing that took me by surprise, too, which is we don't get a lot of music from the guy, and he has a polarizing figure, is Uzi. He sounded good. Like, I really yeah, was, I, like I was rocking with that track. I like, like, I found myself, like, I had to look at it, like, who is this? I find, whenever we review music, I listen to the album, like, maybe I can make out the voices and see who they are. Because I look at, I'll look at a track list, and I'm telling you, if I knew it was Young Thug on there beforehand, <laughs> I probably would have skipped the track. Oh, man. And uh, he let me down on this one. But Uzi sounded spirited, man. I really rocked with him on that one. Yeah. Um, so 82 is what I gave it. Um, I think Meek is back, man. He could, you know, he was taking some losses. And I think with the with the album title being wins and losses, like you said, he's addressing some things he won on and some losses that he took. Yeah. Um, and uh, the interview with Hot 97 was pretty good. So, yo, man, let us know what you guys think. Uh, leave it in the description below. Was it too high, too low? I know the Dream Chase is going to come in here and give their review. Yeah. I know you guys are going to give it 100, and that's cool it's if cool, you man. feel that way. Hey, I'm um, glad y'all passionate about something. Absolutely, right? that's man. What's up. But let us know what you guys think. Give us a score. Don't just get them here slandering us because we gave it 82. And it was uh, um, a decent album, okay? Yeah. So, don't, don't kill yeah, us too it's, bad. It's cool. It's you cool. know? <laughs> but, yo, I'm Nate here. I'm Kev. Yo, we are Games Music Life, man. Drink more water, people. Peace.